right now I'm going to make a little video on uh, one of the ways to help increase the growth of coralline algae in your tank. Now this tank has been up for a week and a day and right there on that heater, to bring around the heater, there's some coralline algae going. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that crab, take some water, and some water, put it in that shell, scrape some of him his uh, algae off the shell, or off his shell, put it in there, mix it all up really good, and grind it up, and then inject it back into the water. But right now I got to catch a crab. Okay, come here, buddy. This one should cooperate because the other ones can tend to. He's a lot more scared and skittish than the other ones. Okay, so I've got some water in the syringe. I'm gonna put it in the shell. crab, take a knife, and I'm just going to scrape some of that coralline algae off of him. Kind of hard to do this alone. So you can see it. Ah, come on. There it goes. Just keep scraping it off his back. until you think you have an adequate amount for your tank size. Okay. This little guy. Pop him back in the tank. Alright, now. See all that nice algae in there? Well, I know algae. Nice and purple. And I got a little bit on here. So I'm going to try to suck it up, but it's not working. Get a little water on it, maybe I can suck it up. Suck some of that up. There we go. I don't want to waste any of it. Okay. Now I'm going to suck it up out of that shell. There we go. Suck it all out of the shell. Into my syringe here. My power head's right there. And what I'm going to do is just take some of it, put, in, put it right in front of my power head, and pull some of it out of there. And you can see it kind of going. And then I'll distribute it all around the tank. Okay. Put some more water in here so I can suck the rest up. 
these are a little bit bigger chunks, so I'm going to put them directly onto some of the live rock. whole bunch right in there and hopefully that will take they could also suck some off that heater but I'm gonna leave that alone let that get growing good and then maybe try to harvest some off of it if it doesn't grow on the rest of the tank so that's basically a little uh one way you can also take the coralline algae, uh, coralline algae and just put it right in the outflow of your filter. And I also did that a few days ago. He got a blue damsel in here, but I think he's scared or stressed or something right now. I think he's, he's trying to blend in with the rock. He's really purple. I think he's scared because I just rearranged my rack. I just rearranged all my rack. I had it more of an arch pattern, but I didn't look like I had that very much. Like I, it didn't look like I had that much. He's kind of almost black right now. Really, really, really dark purple. Usually he's extremely wicked neon blue. So that's basically it guys.